In this video, we will learn about what is a pictograph and why and how do we use pictograph. Like every year, the school also has an annual festival this year. All the children have participated in various programs. Babban, the main organizer of the program, has a data table, which has the names of children and which programs they have participated in. This entire information is recorded here. Babban has to arrange chairs according to the number of children participating in each program. Every child has participated in many programs according to this table. Now I cannot understand how many children have participated in which program. Appu was passing by there. Seeing Babban upset, Appu asked him, what happened, Babban? Why are you so upset? Babban said, I have to get chairs according to how many children have participated in each program. But I am not able to find it by looking at this table. There are only a few hours left to start the program. Appu said, Don't worry, Babban. I will tell you a simple way to do this. Appu saw Babban's table and drew two lines like this on a paper. He first wrote down the names of all the programs near the lower line. Now, Appu once again looked at Babban's table and made some symbols of faces on top of the names of each program and told Babban, Look Babban, you can find out how many children have participated in each program with the help of this pictograph. Babban could not understand anything. What is a pictograph, Appu? And how can I use it? Appu laughed. He told Babban, This is also a way to show information, Babban. Just like we enter information by writing numbers in the table, we can also show information by using pictographs. And... It is very easy to create this. But uh, Appu, why did you make this pictograph when we have the table? Look Babban, sometimes it can take us a long time to understand the numbers written in the table and draw some kind of conclusion from it. Just like you were feeling now. Then, we can use the pictograph to get information quickly. And you know, the pictograph looks very beautiful too. Come, first let me teach you how to make this. See, I have written the names of the programs on a horizontal line. Then, I counted the symbols made under the singing program in your table and drew equal number of faces on top of the singing program in my pictograph. But what are these faces, Appu? I have used the symbol of a face here to show every child participating in the program. You can use any symbol. Now, see in your table and tell me 
How many faces should I make about the dance program? Babban looked at his table and immediately said, "Three faces." Well done, Babban. You understood. Now, take this pictograph and tell me, which program has the most children participating in it? Children. can you see this pictograph and tell which program has the maximum number of children participating in it if you want you can stop the video and find the answer the tallest line here is of seven faces which are placed on top of the play program this means that maximum number of children have participated in the play babban got very excited he said to appu wow appu this is so interesting just by seeing the height of these lines made by the faces i can immediately find out which program has the maximum number of children and which program has the least number of children appu laughed and said come let's quickly make the preparations there is only a little time left for the program to start babban thanked appu and started his work in this video we learned about what is a pictograph and why and how do we use a pictograph in the next video we will learn more about the pictograph hello children in the previous video we learnt about what is a pictograph and why and how do you use pictographs In this video we will see some interesting examples related to the pictograph Babban is now very happy to have learnt about the pictograph He wants to sell new ice creams in his ice cream stall But he is unable to decide which new ice cream will sell more then he thought why not ask his customers to find out which ice cream they would like more the next day babban made a pictograph in this way on the lower line he wrote the names of different types of ice creams then he asked every customer visiting his stall the name of the ice cream they liked he showed the choices of each customer by making a symbol of an ice cream cone for example pinky loves pista ice cream the most so babban drew such an ice cream cone about pinky's favorite pista ice cream's name the day was over and babban's pictograph was also complete babban is trying to find out which ice cream people like the most by looking at his pictograph children can you see the pictograph made by babban and tell Which ice cream people like the most? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Yes, the grape ice cream line is the tallest. So, we can easily find out that grape ice cream is liked by most people. Now, Babban looked at the pictograph once again and thought these two ice creams have been liked by exactly the same number of people 
children can you see the pictograph and find out which two ice creams is babban thinking about well done children your answer is absolutely correct cashew and butterscotch ice cream lines are of the same height therefore the number of people who like cashew and butterscotch ice cream is the same children can you tell us the difference between the number of which of the two ice creams liked by people is 2 if you want you can stop the video and find the answer that's correct the guava line has two ice cream symbols more than the pineapple line and pineapple's line has two ice cream symbols more than pista ice cream's line so the difference between the number of people who like guava and pineapple and pineapple and pista ice cream is 2 now finally babban thought by looking at the pictograph the number of people who like this ice cream is the least children can you tell which ice cream is liked by the least number of people the line of pista ice cream is the smallest in height therefore the number of people who like pista ice cream is the least children if babban would have recorded these numbers in such a table can you make a pictograph showing the information you can make this together with your friends Well done children you have created this pictograph perfectly Babban has decided with the help of pictograph that he will also start selling grape ice cream from the next day Babban sold grape ice creams at his stall the next day and everyone liked it very much In this video we saw some interesting examples related to the pictograph